a fundamental theorem in plane geometry. Well, Robert, what are you waiting for? Uh, the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square oh, of Mr. the other Fry. two sides. Class, attention. Good morning, Mr. Fry. Good morning, Miss Tate. How are all your pupils today? No further problems in deportment, I trust? None whatsoever, Mr. Fry. Good. <clears throat> I'd like to hear them recite. Class, be seated. Well, I see you have a young uh, acrobat in your class, Miss Tate. Yes, unfortunately, it is Robert Bonward. Ah, yes, the lad with the magazine. What were you trying to do, Robert? I thought perhaps I'd forgotten to sign my homework, Mr. Fry. Well, then we shall see if you did. Robert Bonard's homework. No, sir. I demand the truth. Is this your work? No, sir. I didn't do it, Mr. Fry. That is the truth. That is not the truth. But we'll find the truth. Which of you saw him draw this? Young lady, did you see him? Well, answer me. Did you? Yes, sir. I saw him draw it. So, now we have the truth. Follow me. You are an evil, wicked, obstinate boy. But I shall at least teach you that there is no substitute for the truth. I have been lenient beyond reason. But I want the truth and I shall get the truth. For the last time I put it to you. Did you draw that filthy picture? No, sir, Mr. Fry, you I You insolent lying rascal, hold out your hand. The truth! The truth! The truth! Now then, Robert Bonnard, you will come to this office every single day. And every single day I will beat you until you confess and tell the truth.
Habibi. Laugh, sing, rejoice. There is good news. I am home. And my daughter Yvonne has obtained a lover who wishes to make marriage with her. That's very good, Uncle Louis. He comes now, the fiancé of Yvonne's, to ask permission to make the marriage. Any moment he comes, and I need special wine in his honor. Go and fetch me two bottles of your father's finest. Very well, Uncle Louis. I'll get them for you. Oh, this of Alfred must go well. I'm as nervous as a fish on Friday. But do not worry, my dear. At last you are getting a husband. I promise you. What are you doing in here? This is one day I do not wish to hear the clatter of your tongue. Name of a green pig, look at your tie. Well, well, then fix it. But rest your mouth. I warn you, your daughter's happiness is at stake today. Don't you think I know that? Now, I do not wish women in the room when Alfred comes, it is understood. You will remain in the kitchen. Calm your bile, you are not yet the father-in-law. And in the name of heaven, do not breathe on Alfred. You still reek from that cheap wine. Be quiet. A better grade is on the way. I've sent Bibi to get it. You sent for wine? Naturellement. Only the best for Alfred. Idiot. Arrange your ears and listen. Alfred does not drink. To comprend, he has never touched a drop in his life. A man who does not drink wine? He does not drink. This is hard cheese to swallow. You will swallow it. But you will swallow no more wine today. If Alfred discovers Yvonne's father drinks wine from a water cooler, c'est alors, all is lost. Name of a dog, do not tell me my business. I will handle this Alfred like a diplomat. With or without wine. Go, Ali, both of you, into the kitchen. You will learn who makes the weather in this family. Here's the wine, Uncle Louis. Oh, I've had a great shock, Bibi. It seems this fiancé of Yvonne's, this Alfred, suffers from a grave illness. He's sick? Oui. He's opposed to wine. Oh, magnifique. A good vintage. <laughs> what a pity. A man who does not drink. Well, that's the way it is with some bankers, you know. <laughs> I didn't tell you, Bibi, this Alfred uh, was a banker. Ah, uh, oui. He's, I believe, the president of the largest bank in Ottawa. At least one. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if it is discovered that he also controls banks in Montreal and throughout Canada. You've met him before? No. But the great moment is at hand. At last we shall meet. He comes here now, the fiancé, to speak to me, Bibi. To me he comes, Bibi. Not to Phyllis. To me. I offer a seat. He sits. We speak of the world, the position of the pound sterling. He explains to me with care his great wealth, his high social position. I listen. I ask questions. I examine closely. For it is I, the father, who must approve this marriage. If I do not approve, he's gone. The bell! He's here! Quick, the bottles! Uncle Louis, you forgot your shoes! Sucker Blue! Let him in! I must get my shoes. I am Alfred Gartin. Come in, please. Thank you. It's a hot day. Very hot. Make yourself at home. My uncle will be right down. Merci. Merci 